roster seems like it's so radically different than you know the normal kind of superhero stuff that you work on. It's a little darker, creepier, much to my liking because that's, that's kind of my personal taste. Um, but tell me about that. What's the inspiration behind that? Um, well, I mean, initially the uh, the story was about fatherhood, so the inspiration is sort of not even close to what it ended up being. Uh, I wanted to explore fatherhood and what was the sort of the worst scenario you can be in as a father. I have a son, he's floating around somewhere. Um, and I wanted to uh, sort of uh, uh, explore uh, defending your child from the evils of the world. And so I just wanted to create a world that was really evil. And so uh, that's sort of where that grew from. Uh, I think my personal tastes are darker uh, than the normal you know, funny books like Flash and stuff. Um, so when, when I write for myself, I tend to go in that direction. Yeah, well, and speaking, you know, of writing for yourself, um, this is self-published. I mean, it's, it's right. not through, you know, a big company. So tell me about that. How is that process for you? Uh, it's been kind of, uh, it's been difficult because uh, I'm basically the one doing everything from, uh, you know, uh, calling the printer and making sure, you know, all the work is done and uh, uh, getting the stuff, uh, shipping out the orders. It's, it's uh it's a little bit daunting, so uh, I'm actually wrapping up the series with issue six, uh, and then I'm, I'm going to go to the, uh, do a trade, and then uh, I'm probably going to go somewhere else mm -hmm. uh, to continue it because uh, I found that I'm not real good at like all the minutia of publishing. Mm -hmm. um, I'm sort of in my head, like always writing, you know, my head up, you know. So uh, maybe Aspen. I'm, I'm hanging out with the guys at Aspen today. Maybe they'll uh, they'll publish it. We've talked about it. Mm -hmm. um, or Dynamite, uh, you know, they're, they're doing the Black Bad, and, and Nikki uh, uh, and I have talked about maybe uh, doing Foster with Dynamite, right. so. And why did you choose to self-publish instead of, you know, immediately go to somebody else for it? You know, it was just a lark, you know. I had written I had written the uh, story already, and I had done a pitch, and I had started the process of pitching it to people, and I just got tired of waiting for an answer. So, like, you know, no's a valid answer. Mm -hmm. So for those of you out there who have pitches, you should probably say yes or no. Um, it's already printed, so probably no by now. Right. Um, I just felt like, you know what, I'm just going to do it myself. Right, you know? definitely. Yeah. yeah. One more? Okay. Um, so I hear you're a writer and an artist. That's uh, kind of unique, so tell me a little bit about that. Do you have a preference of which you like to do? I mean, I don't, I'm not a, an interior artist. Like, you know, I've done some covers for Foster, and uh, I'm known primarily as a colorist. Mm -hmm. uh, so I think that's even more rare because I think there are uh, a number of, guy, of guys and, uh, and gals out there who um, who write and uh, and draw. Uh, I don't really draw interiors, so uh, I'm probably pretty unique as a colorist mm -hmm. slash writer. Um, I think I'm more fulfilled as a writer. I think that's okay. what I am in my heart. Right. I just happen to have some uh, artistic ability that's mm -hmm. uh, been very kind to me over the years. Right. Yeah. Cool. And what do you have coming up? You know, what's on your horizon? Um, let's see. We're still doing Flash. Uh, I'm uh, working on the Flash annual, writing that. Francis uh, Manipal and I are, uh, you know, full speed ahead on uh, our uh, next arc, which is a Reverse Flash. Um, so uh, I've got that. I'm finishing up Foster. Um, I'm doing the Black Bat for Dynamite. Okay. Cool. Um, and that's uh, uh, sort of the reimagining of an old pulp from the, the 30s. And so he's a really old character. He's not a ripoff of Batman or Daredevil. Um, I know at first glance you might think so, but uh, if you give it a chance, you'll see that it's, it's totally a different take. So I wouldn't have written it if it was just going to be a, a retread of Batman. Like, that wasn't what I was uh, trying to do. So that comes out in May. And then I'm also doing a book for Aspen. Uh, it hasn't been announced yet, so I can't say what it is. Okay. But uh, they've got their 10 for 10, uh, mm -hmm. a 10th anniversary thing going on, and I'm going to be doing one of the books uh, for them. Awesome. So, yeah. Great. Well, a lot of awesome stuff to look forward to, guys. Check it out.